In the name of the state of Arizona, I declare this gathering to be a violation of ARS 13-1502-A1, criminal trespass, and I command you to leave AC property immediately. A night of unrest at Arizona State University after pro-Palestinian protesters refused to leave campus. 12 News cameras were on the ground rolling as DPS troopers and ASU police, Tempe police, all in an effort tearing down an encampment here, taking protesters into custody. This morning, just hours later, a much different scene at Old Main, the field completely clear. This is a live look right now from an ASU web camera uh, where you can see again there is nothing there. No protesters there. No demonstrators there. We saw barricades being put up last night in that area. Good morning. Thank you for waking up with us right here on 12 News Today in AZ. I'm Trisha Hendrick. I'm Jonathan McCall. 12 News, the only station bringing you live complete coverage as that scene unfolded on the campus of ASU in Tempe overnight. We were on air for nearly three hours up until 2 o'clock in the morning bringing you that coverage. Our live coverage continues this morning right now. 12 News journalist Justin Pizarro is joining us live from a much quieter Tempe campus. And Justin, what have we learned overnight? Well, good morning. We are waiting to hear the official number on how many people have been arrested. We did hear from an officer on scene here. He told one of our photographers that he estimates about 75 people were arrested. But again, we're waiting to get that official word. But I do want to show you what the campus looks like this morning. This whole lawn is surrounded by the barricade, but man, what a difference just a few hours make. There's actually seniors on the lawn this morning, several of them taking their senior photos. So just to kind of give you uh, just a, a different reference on how drastically things have changed. This all started yesterday morning, though, around 8 o'clock when this group started forming on Alumni Lawn. This is one of the main focal points of the university. The group came in with Palestinian flags and signs, food, plenty of water and tents. They were here for the long haul. They're demanding ASU publicly condemn the violence in the Gaza Strip. That's one of the main points. But they also want the university to disclose and stop any investments it has with Israeli companies. They're also uh, calling for the school's president, Michael Crow, to resign. At this point, ASU has not released any statements regarding the protest or the university's president stepping down. But the protest was pretty peaceful for the most part all day, other than three arrests in the morning for trespassing. But ASU made it very clear as it got later in the day, the crowd was going to have to leave. They gave them an 11 p.m. deadline. So when the crowd wasn't dispersed by then, that's when we saw a large number of DPS troopers come in to break up the crowd. They started arresting people. Some people, they walked to this processing center on their own. Other folks, they had to be carried to the processing center. That was set up about a block away. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office had two buses parked to transport all of those folks who were arrested. From my vantage point there, I could see law enforcement processing the person's belongings. They're putting them in clear plastic bags. They were searched. Their hands were restrained with zip ties, and then they were loaded onto that bus. But again, and from my vantage point, it did look like everyone was cooperating. We are still, again, waiting to get that official number of people, the number of people who are arrested. We do have a crew there uh, waiting outside the jail, waiting for all of those protesters to come out. We're hoping to talk to them uh, just about their experience. See, was that really worth it uh, to go to jail to get their message up, uh, across? But again, it is a very quiet morning here. But I do want to point out, the protesters said that they will be back. I heard one protester yelling at officers that they will be back at some point today. So we're just waiting to see if they do show up, guys. All right, Justin, uh, you were out there earlier this morning where the where that processing center was near college and university. Uh, f just from your vantage point, you talked a little bit about it. Uh, can you t just describe what the kind of that feeling was when people were being brought uh, to that area to be processed when they were booked, they were zip tied, uh, taken away from that scene and then brought to that area? It was very organized as far as a law enforcement standpoint goes. It just seemed like they had this down. This is what this is what's going to happen. And they just had them. An officer would just have each protester just one on one processing their stuff, putting them in those clear plastic bags, and then they would escort them on the bus. So it was very organized. And then the folks that were just standing by, they were pretty peaceful as well. They had their cell phones out, of course, recording that whole process, but uh, they just did kind of let those officers stand back, uh, do their work, and process those protesters.
Right. It will be interesting to see what happens throughout the day. Of course, we'll continue to follow this. Similar to protests happening in New York City, universities in New York City, Austin, Texas as well. So definitely something we will be mindful of as the day continues.